is this is the first speed test of the Dish Network Project Genesis 5G. This is an S22. It's a regular model, not a Plus or an Ultra. So you can see I'm connected to uh, Columbus, Ohio. Uh, I don't know why I'm in Lexington, Kentucky, but they always choose that server, but it is registering as a Dish phone. And we'll tap the server. I have tested it around town as well. Um, but here in my office, for some reason, I get the best speeds. Um, around town, I generally get 30 down and 7 to 15 up. But as you can see in my office, this isn't millimeter wave speeds, but it's, it's pretty good. So what I'll do now, you can see 101 down, 7.5 up. So I will change the server to something local. This is what my cable company uses, my cable internet. I can usually get 7-800 megabytes down on my cable modem. So this server is geographically closer to me, it's about a mile away. Very similar to the server in Ohio. Uploads are a little better. One of the things I've noticed about this service is since it's so new, their roaming partners are not switching properly. Um, so if you drive around town and you come back and you pull the phone out of your bag, um, oftentimes you'll notice that you, you it says you have 5G service, but you can't make a call. You can't do anything until you turn it on airplane mode and turn it off. I tried a different SIM card. Uh, so the phone works perfectly. It's just the service. It's just so new. Um, but I just thought I'd share this with you. I'm in Kentucky, uh, in Lexington specifically. Um, and I'll come back to you with some more reviews as I travel around and give you some updates on different cities I travel to and also the roaming partners. I'm hearing T-Mobile should be uh, active at the end of August and AT&T sometime this year as a roaming partner to help with coverage while the Project Genesis slash Dish Network 5G towers roll out. All right, thanks for watching.